the person you can give a job to, and you know not only it will get done, but that it will be done well, and it will be done on time. Gemma Parsons was this year's student council president and go-to person, and her dedication to leading this year's council represents her work ethic and her drive, as well as her sense of integrity and responsibility. Gemma has attended Oak Grove for about nine years. This fall, she will be attending Occidental College and is considering majoring in political science. It has been my great pleasure and privilege to work closely with her for the past five years in math, including her independent AP Calculus studies this year, as well as assisting her in her college and scholarship applications. Oak Grove has been a second family to Gemma, and we hope she will always feel welcome to come back and visit her second home here with us. Please welcome to the podium, Gemma Parsons. I thought I wasn't going to cry, but Jennifer got me a little bit right there. <laughs> wow. What a surreal moment, one I both dreaded and eagerly anticipated. As you can imagine, I've learned a lot about graduation speeches over the years. I've sat through 14 to be exact. Yes, if you just did the math, it means I've been part of the Oak Grove community since preschool. A good speech has a set of criteria. It should engage the audience, include something that makes people laugh, jog memories of childhood, honor loved ones, and be heartfelt. It also needs to speak of the future, share insight into the school experience, and express appreciation. Let's not forget that my mother needs to approve of it. Let me tell you, this is no small feat. Luckily, I'm not afraid of a challenge, which explains why I took AP Calculus this year. I just hope I don't regret this challenge, like committing to AP Calculus. So let's take a walk down memory lane. One thing I absolutely loved about being at this place is that I get to watch the kids enjoy the same things I did when I was little. I remember carving out channels in the sand, turning on the miniature hose, and watching them fill up with water, then bringing my fantasies to life along the river. Best of all, it was when my imagination ran free. There were no dolls, just sticks, and I was perfectly content. The bakery. Well, it was always open for business. Sand cakes, mud pies, rock cookies, and sand balls were in great abundance. Childhood memories? Check. The next story is about my stepfather, who actually wrote this part himself over a year ago. For the humiliation he claimed to have endured, he pinned this note to my wall and made me swear to add it to my graduation speech. Last week, I took it off my wall, and here it is. And to my stepdad, who loves me so much, that one day, when I left my large, colorful purse at the gym, he was bodily injury and public humiliation to ride from one end of the town to the other, carrying my purse on his bicycle in broad daylight. <laughs> I have to admit, it was really quite a sight. Humor? Check. <laughs> Dad? You taught me I can almost always get what I want, with a little persuasion. Beyond that, thank you for the cup of apple juice each morning and the stick shift lessons. I hope I didn't scare you too much. Brewster, you make me feel so uneducated with your knowledge on the most random things, like commercial jetpacks and DARPA. I found there's no need to watch the news, because I have you each morning to teach me something new. My little bee, thank you for telling me which shoes to wear each morning. <laughs> I would have never made it to school properly dressed without you. I love you all, and you make waking up each morning worth it. Happy stuff and honoring loved ones? Check. I would like to share my appreciation and gratitude to the whole Oak Ridge community for your support and being here tonight to help us launch, launch us into our young adult lives. Appreciation? Check. How am I doing so far? Great. <laughs> Thank you. As for insight, well, I turned to Alan Kay, a computer scientist who said the greatest way to predict the future was to invent it. Our future is something we create, so let's take
take what we've learned for the past 12 years and use it. I will take my knowledge of the inverse trigonometric sine function, the ability to communicate, listen, understand, accept, relate, laugh, smile, and adapt, as well as those other academic facts with me to Occidental College in the fall, where I will be given the privilege to continue my desire to learn. Did I get it all? I hope so. I know my mother did approve of this speech because she looked over it all until this part. I would like to say thanks to someone who has probably touched all of us here in one way or another. She has probably touched me more and has done so every day in my life, and I know she will continue to do so. She's the reason I stand before you tonight. She's made each day at the school a little brighter for me, and I'm sure for many of you. She's been my best friend at those times when I had no friends, and remained my best friend even when I had friends. She always stood behind me with her support, stood next to me at times, and was out of sight when I needed that too. The best part of who I am, I learned from her. After my college years, when I venture into the real world, I know that if I do just half as much as she has done, touch half as many people as she has touched, and made half the difference she has made, I will consider myself a success. I will be lucky. Mom, I love you. This is all for you. Heartfelt, check. <laughs>